we go into the Fairlight page. We increase this so that we can see what's happening. Go in a little bit. We mark an in point and automatically we have an out point as well over here. Zoom in so that we can see what's happening. Select. We right click over here. Remove silence. So now we have all of these. So the threshold is below what negative db do you want it to consider a silence so if we like for example reduce it to minus 61 then these portions probably there may be in the 40s or in the 50s region so this portion won't be triggered over here but this might probably yeah this is below minus 61 db that's why it's being highlighted it will delete this portion generally depending on the voiceover that I'm working with uh, minus 30 plus minus is good enough so then pre-head so this is a starting I want there to be breathing room so let's increase this maybe let's let's do 100 so as you can see now it won't be deleting this portion otherwise it was deleting everything until the immediate start of the voiceover so that then we have the post tail and that's right at the end of the of the voiceover and let's add 100 over here as well so that we have some breathing room so over here we have the pre-head and the post tail together they don't make 200 milliseconds that's why nothing is going to be cut over here but over here we have 100 over here we have 100 over here we still have quite a lot of silent area which we want to delete and that's why it's still highlighted and then we have a minimum to strip this means that the portion that has to be cut it has to be at least 100 milliseconds so like for example i think this portion is a bit more than 200 so let's do 250 yeah so this will not be cut because the minimum to strip is 250 and the portion over here it's not 250 i think it was but still, I think it may be more than 200. Okay, I might be wrong. Let's do 150. Yeah, so it's more than 150, it's less than 200. So that's why this portion is going to be cut. And as you can see, all of the silences, the silent portions of the clip, which correspond to these thresholds, they will be cut. And now we simply click the remove silence and we're done.